Hello people, in this video we want to look at all the thyroid pathologies, all the conditions that is possible. So look at this uh, slide guys, so here you can see all the thyroid conditions being listed. On this side, whatever you see here uh, are classified as thyroiditis, okay. It could be because of uh, infection, right, that is uh, infection, it could be because of bacteria or virus or it could be some autoimmune conditions that is causing the inflammation of the thyroid. What is thyroiditis? Inflammation of the thyroid. It can be because of infection or it can be because of autoimmune conditions. Okay. So, um, just uh, the other side what you have are tumors of thyroid. Okay. So, here you have one benign condition. Okay. That is follicular adenoma. Okay. And then you have thyroid cancer. We have put all this in red. So you have papillary thyroid carcinoma, follicular thyroid carcinoma, medullary thyroid carcinoma, anaplastic carcinoma. So, so many types of thyroid cancers are also there. Just note here that you have papillary thyroid carcinoma. Thyroid word is there in the middle. Otherwise, if you know this uh, papillary, medullary, all these carcinoma words are there even in breast cancer, right? So anyways, so now um, uh, guys, uh, just understand here that what and all are we looking at? We are looking at all the abnormal thyroid conditions. So, on this side, what did you see? You saw that uh, there is uh, thyroiditis and this side they have put all the tumors. Under tumors, they have put the benign and the cancerous conditions, right? Under thi um, uh, thyroiditis, you have the uh, acute conditions, subacute conditions and the chronic conditions. Acute conditions, usually they are blaming bacteria. Subacute, they are blaming virus and chronic, usually they are blaming autoimmune conditions, okay? Now, coming to the side tumors, what and all are there, guys? Um, what is this? Uh, tumors let's go back here you have the benign that is follicular adenoma and then you have thyroid cancer thyroid cancer you have four things you have the papillary thyroid carcinoma follicular thyroid carcinoma medullary thyroid carcinoma and anaplastic carcinoma this uh, topic is very important guys because whenever you go for uh, medicine posting or surgery posting this is going to be asked a lot okay so focus here so, like we told you, thyroiditis, what and all can be there, acute, subacute, chronic, acute will be usually because of bacteria, fungus, they are saying. It can be even because of radiation, they are saying here in the textbook. So, remember here, usually after an infection, the amount of thyroid uh, hormone could be more. Later, it can become less, okay. And who will cause all this infection? Your standard staphylococcus, streptococcus, okay. Fungus, you can name some. Then coming to subacute conditions, you have something called as granulomatous, subacute granulomatous thyroiditis, also called as D. Quervain's thyroiditis, giant cell thyroiditis, uh, thyroiditis viral. Like we told you, it is viral. So usually these conditions are viral, so they will be self-limiting. And in this case, it could be tender, right, the uh, uh, thyroid. And uh, this is self-limiting, so it does not cause any permanent hypothyroidism. Then you have something called as postpartum, that is after a baby is delivered, right. Uh, there could be subacute lymphocytic thyroiditis. Suddenly, if you see lymphocytic thyroiditis, you might be reminded of Hashimoto's thyroiditis, right? That is also uh, lymphocytic thyroiditis. But Hashimoto's is chronic condition. This is subacute, okay? And uh, usually in this, what happens, um, uh, there is no fibrosis, okay? What Did that become too much, guys? Just understand that uh, we are looking at the subacute conditions. In subacute, you saw something like uh, viral is there and then some granny uh, viral is there. One is a postpartum. Postpartum is so similar to Hashimoto's, but in this case, there is no fibrosis. But in Hashimoto, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is a chronic lymphocytic uh, thyroiditis, uh, chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis is what Hashimoto's, there you can see fibrosis, okay. Okay, don't break your head too much. So, there are some subacute conditions because of virus, etc. Then a standard, you should put tuberculosis everywhere, right? Some or the other place, tuberculosis should be sitting. It is sitting here in subacute condition. Now, let us go to chronic thyroiditis, guys. So, somebody has thyroid inflammation for a long time. Why? Why can that happen? Okay. So, that could be because of autoimmune conditions. Okay. Usually, this will be painless like Hashimoto's thyroiditis or uh, there can be Graves. Graves, uh, you remember, guys. Don't get scared by this photo, guys. This is Graves of Thalmology where you can see there is um, proptosis, is it? You have studied that uh, in uh, ophthalmology, thyroid eye disease, you will see, okay, where the antibodies are attacking not only the thyroid, they are also attacking the eye. So, these people will have proptosis. Whenever there is proptosis because of thyroid, that is called as exophthalmos. That word specifically exophthalmos comes when uh, proptosis is because of uh, thyroid. Guys, focus. 
So where are we guys? We are looking at the chronic conditions which, uh, which are autoimmune. We looked at uh, some terminologies like um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves etc. Hashimoto is the same autoimmune condition usually associated with uh, hypothyroidism, less uh, thyroid hormone levels. But Graves is something which is associated with hyperthyroidism. Okay. Then you have something called as Rydell's thyroiditis guys. This is where there will be some fibrosis. Okay, and this will mimic malignancy because it will be hard and it will also be painless. So painless hard, suddenly you will feel like um, it is a malignancy. So, uh, but it will be Riedel's thyroiditis, wooden thyroid, if they are telling wooden thyroid, right, that comes in uh, this Riedel's thyroiditis, wooden thyroid. Focus guys, fibrosis. Yes, I know it became too much for you guys. Sure. Uh, so guys, shall we move on to thyroid tumors? You need to know these names, guys. Otherwise, somebody will be talking about some uh, terminology. You won't understand what they're talking about. See, under benign tumors, you have follicular adenoma. Okay, here you can have a solitary nodule. Usually, nodule word and all they use for thyroid. So just pay attention here. This is a benign condition, adenoma, obviously. Uh, carcinoma, 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 carcinoma means it will be cancer. So thyroid cancer will be papillary thyroid carcinoma. Again, there you can have solitary nodule, follicular thyroid carcinoma, medullary thyroid carcinoma, anaplastic carcinoma. So what do you understand? Um, why do you think all these three are in red color, but this one, medullary thyroid carcinoma is in some other color? Because um, medullary thyroid carcinoma is from the parafollicular cells. Okay. Uh, papillary is from uh, follicular cells. Follicular is from follicular cells and anaplastic is also from follicular cells. However, medullary thyroid carcinoma is from parafollicular cells. Okay, guys. Anaplastic means the name itself says it is so undifferentiated, right? It has gone so bad and uh, it is very, very aggressive and uh, it is going to metastasize and cause problems to the esophagus, trachea, etc. Okay, so anaplastic, that's what you understand, right? Anaplastic means you know, you already know. It means to say that it is, what, do you, what did you understand? It is? Anaplastic, undifferentiated, very, uh, very bad kind of thing. Okay, in cancer. Now, um, guys, you should understand one terminology called as goiter. What the hell is goiter, goiter, goiter? Goiter is nothing but enlargement of thyroid. That's it. Goiter means enlargement of thyroid. Does it have any significance to say whether it is going to be hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism or euthyroid? No, it can be anything. It could be euthyroid, hypothyroid, hyperthyroid. It could be anything. It could be associated with anything, but enlargement of the thyroid is called goiter. In that you have two things, guys: right? simple goiter and multinodular goiter. Simple itself will become multinodular later. Okay, just look at the multinodular goiter video; you will understand. Is it too much, guys? Goiter is what? Take a break. Goiter is what? Enlargement of the thyroid. Yes, in that you have simple or now multinodular. Simple itself is called as diffuse, non-toxic, colloidal goiter, etc. And multinodular goiter can lay is also called as adenomatous goiter. Later, this can become toxic. If it becomes toxic, it is called as toxic multinodular goiter. Okay, or plumber's disease. Okay, we are, each of these have separate videos, so you can look at that multinodular goiter. Okay, so now we will go to the um, just look at the uh, four uh, carcinomas, guys, uh, of uh, thyroid. So you should know these uh, carcinomas. Uh, papillary carcinoma of thyroid is there. Follicular carcinoma, medullary carcinoma, and anaplastic carcinoma. Okay. Let me zoom and scroll up. Okay. So basically, you can see here this medullary carcinoma. Are you able to see, guys? Medullary carcinoma is from parafollicular cells. Everything else is from follicular cells. This much you understood. Okay. In papillary carcinoma thyroid, uh, the P rule applies, okay, it is popular, that means it's very common, it's there in females and it has post-radiation, that's why we have put this photo, it's post-radiation and uh, there will be papillary pattern in this, okay. This anyways has special video, we we'll look at that separate video. So there will be papillary pattern with fibrovascular core, so that is what is there, no, papillary means, papillary means you have seen uh, so many places you have seen in uh, pathology, so papillary means it will have fibrovascular core, okay. Then there will be on uh, orphan anii nuclei. So this is indicating to you the orphan anii nuclei. But how does it actually look? See the nucleus, how it is um, having a chromatin uh, has gone somewhere, is it, to the sides. So you can see how the nuclei are looking orphan anii. And in the middle of the nucleus, you have a groove. So nuclear groove, like coffee bean, right? Something like this. Something like orphan anii and it can have a groove in the middle like coffee bean, right? And then there are some samuma bodies, etc. So how is it going, people? 
it's too much for you to understand right so basically one more thing you need to know is um, this one is because of red gene mutation this one is because of red gene mutation this one follicular one is because of ras mutation and uh, anaplastic one is because of p53 loss so if you can remember we just throwing too much of information at you yeah just look at this uh, we are what are we looking at papillary right in papillary what did you see you saw papillary pattern orphan any any nuclei will be there some of our bodies etc and uh, usually it is spread by a lymphatic so lymph node involvement can be there okay but its prognosis is very good so it's that's good it's very common and it is very having good prognosis also okay that is your papillary carcinoma guys now come to follicular carcinoma obviously follicular carcinoma means it is developing from the follicles right um, and uh, here you should understand that uh, when you take a bio, uh, fnac it will still look like follicles only of your thyroid right so this is how the thyroid uh, pathology drawing you would have done full follicles and colloid in the middle and all right and this is the actual image of the thyroid gland so basically where are we so if you uh, take if you see follicular carcinoma because it will also have follicles you cannot do fnac and uh, find out you have to do a biopsy and you'll have to check for uh invasion of the vascular component or the capsular component okay that will indicate to you what else you should know about this guys okay then coming to medullary carcinoma medullary carcinoma is important guys uh, medullary carcinoma is important anyways that also has separate video look at that so medullary carcinoma um, what you should know here it is from para follicular cells right this is what you should understand it's from para follicular cells where are we here this one is medullary carcinoma it's from para follicular cells and what you will see here is amyloid stroma this is not a very common condition okay as it is from para follicular cells which secretes calcitonin it is it will have calcitonin will be more in these people okay and what will you see amyloid stroma whenever you see amyloid stroma you should you should say what will you say medullary carcinoma of the thyroid see as soon as you see this you will see amyloid stroma has been marked here amyloid stroma all this is amyloid stroma amyloid stroma amyloid stroma amyloid stroma so this will become medullary carcinoma of thyroid remember how do you stain amyloid such an important question for you you already know this congo red yes you will see apple green appearance right by by refringence apple green by refringence some amount of uh, medullary carcinoma you know now okay now coming to anaplastic carcinoma we already told you it will be undifferentiated it is very invasive it will go to an attack your esophagus trachea laryngeal nerve etc and you usually see this in old age people okay so where will you see this uh, anaplastic carcinoma of thyroid in old age people yeah guys now just look at so guys let's wind up this video so in this video we wanted to look at some thyroid pathologies we looked at some thyroiditis and thyroid tumors thyroiditis you saw the acute conditions caused by bacteria etc subacute caused by um, a viral Uh, or postpartum it can be there or tuberculosis chronic can be Hash, uh, autoimmune like hashimotos graves etc a renal thyroiditis also can be there then coming to tumors you have seen benign means follicular adenoma thyroid cancer uh, guys focus you saw four cancers of thyroid papillary thyroid carcinoma follicular thyroid carcinoma medullary thyroid carcinoma and anaplastic carcinoma four carcinomas you have seen you seen what exactly goiter means you have understood what simple diffuse uh, goiter is but it's overall the thyroid uh, enlargement will be there that is further if it continues it can become multinodular goiter this multinodular goiter is also called as adenomatous goiter if you uh, if this progresses it can become toxic multinodular goiter okay you saw all the differences between these four types of cancer just one last thing if you are not frustrated we will tell you is look at this condition here okay in graves you have papilla formation papilla formation you also saw in papillary carcinoma of thyroid but there <clears throat> in the cancer you have papilla with fibrovascular core but in graves there is just papilla formation and there's no fibrovascular core okay so that is one thing you should know then whenever somebody says where do you see hertel cells and all that you will see in hashimoto's thyroiditis which is uh, hashimoto you will see hartel cells hh hashimotos you will see hartel cells okay so hashimotos is autoimmune but it will lead to hypothyroidism graves is autoimmune but it will lead to hyperthyroidism okay that's it guys where will you see wooden thyroid rydell's thyroiditis okay wooden thyroid you will see in rydell's thyroiditis what else 
postpartum there can be subacute thyroiditis then what is de quervain's thyroiditis this is some granuloma will be there viral condition self limiting then what is follicular adenoma of uh, thyroid it is basically a benign condition of the thyroid okay so the uh, any neck swelling no you will have to keep thyroid as a differential and it can uh, thyroid swelling can also lead to you know uh, choking because it will be compressing on the yeah, trachea it can cause dysphagia that means difficulty to swallow because it will be compressing on the ease of fingers etc so all these things you should know we'll meet you in the next video guys bye bye